It's been raining since yesterday. Straight rain. That never happens here in Louisiana. It happens in Oregon all the time. So I'm kind of like, I was like, oh, it's raining like Oregon. And then this morning I was like, it's still raining like Oregon. Anyway, it's warmer, but it's, uh, yeah, raining. So um, I'm heading out to the shop. Yeah. So I read over my plans a little bit more and I think I understand it a lot better, but there are some spots like when it gets to the drawers, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. anyway, so I'll uh, look at that again later. What I figured out about the thickness is when this part gets mortised or tendoned or whatever, and this one gets mortised or tendoned, <laughs> since this is not uh, easily divided by three, because of halves, it's a little bit less than that. So that means it's just harder to figure out where half is in the center, if that makes sense. But as long as I make sure that male section is a half of an inch in the middle, I should be good to go. Okay, the tenon, the tenon. It says, make overlapping passes with a dado blade to shape the tenons. And so I've, I've drawn out the dimensions that, that they're supposed to be. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna just go over to my non-dado blade and uh, the table saw and just uh, see what I can do to make that cut. I wanted to thank everybody that gave me so much encouragement and suggestions and tips from last time. I know I need an outfeed table for my table saw, so I'm adding that to the list. One thing about using the table saw cutting these tenons was I, I didn't know exactly where the blade was going to be cutting. A quick markup with the Sharpie, and I was good to go for the next few pieces I had to cut that way. But somehow I did manage to cut one in the wrong spot. I'll make sure and put that on the back. It was pretty easy to chisel off all those little hair pieces that were left. To make the mortise part, I quickly discovered using the drill press and the vacuum, or the shop vac, worked really well. The hardest thing was clamping the board in place. And this is what it looked like. Then it was off to chiseling. So I chiseled with the big chisel and then I chiseled with the little chisel and I used the shop vac again and just cleaned up all the shavings from chiseling. Well, I have these mortises and tenons cut down here. Uh, there's something I need to drill though in the sides of one of these before I put it together and that's like a, um, a threaded insert. So I, I ordered those online I think or I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting it done. So I just have to do one, two, Three, four, five. I only need to do five more of these. And I'll have I'll be able to put the legs together if I get those inserts. Yay, so it's coming along. Woohoo! So the next day I figured out how to line up the holes better with the drill. And I also remembered, hey, maybe if I sharpen these chisels, they'll work better. And yeah. They worked much better. So with those sharp chisels, I was able to clean out all the rest of the slots or mortises. And then uh, it was time to see if it fit all together.
Well, I think I need to adjust it a little bit, but it's, it's fitting. Yay! So I wanted to say thank you to everybody that left comments and suggestions and tips uh, on my part one video, last one, because that really helped. One of the biggest things that it helped me with was going back over this and making sure I understand the cut list and that I understand the directions. And I know there's some things uh, like the drawers that I, I, I don't get yet, but I will, I'm pretty sure, uh, once I get there. But um, going back over the cut list really helped because I saw um, that, you know, I needed to glue some things together, like the stretcher that goes on the bottom here. This piece, I actually finished that and it's ready to, to glue all together with the legs. I haven't glued the legs yet either, but uh, I need to add some of those inserts. And then I need to get these bench bolts, which husband ordered the bench bolts. Um, and they're coming in the mail. So I can bench bolt that stretcher to the legs and get that together. And then the next part is making the top, which I'm really excited about. That means I need to go back to my cut list and I need to cut everything that I need for the top and then follow the directions because it sounds like I have to turn it on its side and then glue it together in pieces. Anyway, so thank you so much for your tips and suggestions. And if you have any more, please let me know. And so thanks everybody. So I'm just gonna keep plucking along. All right, see you next time, bye.